guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do something I haven't done for a while and do like probably a few days in my life. It is Wednesday morning and I have just made my coffee. It's about 20 past seven and I'm about to head to the yard. Seven thirty, and it's light. Ooh. Here we go. We've made it. We're at the yard, so I will start here. I thought that I would do a day in the life or probably a few days of life but I haven't done it for a while so here we go we will start here on the yard um, it's Wednesday and I've just decided that Harry is going to have a day off so this is going to be an exciting one for you but anyway I'm going to go muck him out feed him turn him out then I've got a few bits to do throughout the day and then tomorrow obviously I'll be riding so we can do a bit of that Let's get going. It is light. Look at that. Beautiful sky. Good morning, Harry Bow. Is it breakfast time? Go on then. So I always soak Harry's feed the night before. And then by the morning, it looks like this kind of mush. And it's delicious. Hey, Harry, are you hungry? <laughs> Come on then. So now, while Harry has his breakfast, I am going to go and look out. And no doubt your bedroom is going to be absolutely disgusting because it always is. Let's go see. Ugh. He's such a muck tub. Right, let's crack on. Let's go to the field, Harold. <clears throat> Come on. So we are done for the morning. I'm mucked out. Harry's had his breakfast. 
come on you and now it's time to go turn around into the field for the day so i like share shifts with my friend she also has a horse here as well so i either do the morning or i do the evening this morning i'm doing mornings so this will be the last time i see harry today i'll turn him out he'll spend the day in the field and then this evening becky my friend will come and bring harry and his little horse mate in together and he'll go to bed for the evening and so the next time i'll see harry is tomorrow morning same time for the same thing but we'll be riding tomorrow so come on harry off the field good boy bye harry no you're not coming with me go and have a day in the field go on go on stay in there you're not coming <laughs> you are naughty good boy see you tomorrow Okay, so I am all caught up with work and I'm still sat on the sofa with my dog and a coffee, but it is time to get on with some horsey bits. So this weekend, I'm going to be going to Port Royal Equestrian Centre to go and do a bit of unaffiliated dressage with Harry because I need a practice run before the big event at the end of the month. Uh, me and Harry have qualified for the British Dressage Area Festivals at prelim level and we need to get some practice in because I really haven't been doing as much dressage as I should have been and I do know North Allerton is quite a big venue when I've been in the past it's a bit spooky so I'm going to take Harry out for a bit of a run so I'm sat at my computer and I'm going through the tests and I'm trying to figure out which ones I should go for because there's quite a few different options there's two prelims and two novices so I'll probably do one prelim and one novice at the area festivals it is a long arena test which just makes things more complicated because there's more letters and just more space for me to go wrong and i'm going out this weekend and i'm thinking confidence so should i go with the short arena test as a good practice i'm more likely to get it right and more likely to build confidence or do i go with the two long arena tests one prelim one novice as a good practice at like remembering long arena tests so i just don't know so i'm just gonna sit on the sofa and have a read through the different tests and see what the options are see if i'm likely to remember them and then i'm gonna book Ooh. and then i need to remember these tests oh my god i'm so bad at remembering tests every time i go out and do dressage i do at least one test wrong my last outing at the beginning of the year I did prelim seven and I went wrong three times before eventually a reader came to help me out. So yeah, I'm not the best, <laughs> but I need to practice. So I don't know. I'm going to have a quick look at these tests, make a decision and book and commit and then it's time to get learning. I'm back at the yard um, so my yard owner wanted company out on a hack um, her horse has been out of work all winter and she's going out for her first hack so I offered to join her but to save Harry's little leggies and allow him to have the day off and plan for him I'm going to be riding his pal dragon so I'm just going down to the field now to go and get a dragon in I'm gonna get tacked up and then head out on a new set of ears Me. hi dragon Hello, gorgeous. Good 
boy. Handsome boy. So he's dragging the baby at you. He's a, a Rising 6 X race horse, just like Harold. And they left the racing yard at the same time. Good boy. Dragon. <laughs> Good boy. I'm gonna go out. Right, so that's Dragon Ridden and he was such a good boy. What a lovely horse. So yeah, what a nice surprise. I get to go and bring Harry in from his field now, which I hadn't planned on doing this morning, but I'm here, so I may as well go get him. So that's where I'm going now. I've just finished my 5k. I think it is about half past six. And now it's time for a swim and a shower because I'm gonna look at this. <laughs> Hot mess. Bloody cold. It's two degrees. It's Thursday and we're riding. Good morning. So I'm back on the yard. It's 20 past seven. It's light. I've got a coffee. So it's the same routine as yesterday. I'm going to muck out, get my jobs done. And then this morning I am riding. So I have, I think, learned the prelim test, prelim 17A. So I'm going to have a run through of that today. I've dressed in purple, Harry's going to be in purple, I am rocking those dressage diva vibes and hopefully it's going to give us a bit of confidence for tomorrow and then as soon as I'm home it's time to start learning the novice test. <laughs> Good boy! Good morning dragon! Good morning Harry! Is it breakfast time? Ooh. Are you hungry? Are you dancing for your breakfast? It's not in tick dancing. Hot water. For a hot breakfast and a hot water bottle. I don't know why, but whenever I'm cold, I feel like Harry needs a hot breakfast. You're going to tell me the better. It was another gorgeous day, but anyway, it was time to go and make some feed. So I headed off to the feed room and Harry has just had his feed changed because he was getting a little bit overexcited. So right now he is on a scoop and a half of the Gaines conditioning cubes. And then he's on about a three quarter scoop of ready grass. And then I'm also just giving him a new ulcer supplement, the gastric aid, which is on offer at the moment. And so he gets three scoops of that, which is the maintenance dosage. 
in his breakfast every morning and it really does seem to be doing the trick so I'm quite pleased with that. So once his feeds are made up I add water and I'll leave these to soak probably about 8 to 12 hours just because I like to really make sure it's all soaked in. By the way I didn't mean to record this in slow motion but here you go. Enjoy this little sexy slow-mo of water pouring and feed stirring. <laughs> but yeah, so I put his feeds in his stable ready for him to come into on a night and I'll leave his breakfast outside his stable ready for the morning. And as you guys know, I sometimes add a little bit of hot water before I feed him, depending on the temperature. Finally, it was time to ride. Now, I am getting on from the floor. I don't normally do this, but from time to time I will. It is just good practice just to make sure you can do if you need to. Anyway, so here we go with the schooling. So I just start off with the basics. I warmed up and now I'm doing my centre lines. And this is a perfect place to put your camera just to test how straight your centre lines are. And I don't think that one was too bad. This one is a little bit more wobbly. Obviously, we've got the pulse to contend with. They were just left out by somebody else. And I thought, why not? We'll continue over them anyway. So I'm just doing the usual warm ups. I'm doing lots of changes of rain. I'll be doing lots of transitions. Just trying to get Harry listening and get him on the aids. Um, I also give him regular breaks just to give him a chance to recoup. If you don't give him breaks, he does tend to switch off more. So lots of breaks, give him a chance for his brain just to catch up with him and then push him back on again. So again, lots of transitions. Harry's problem is, is he does tend to get quite downhill. So the more transitions I do, the more I get him to sit up. And again here, I'm doing a little bit of leg yielding, trying to make sure those hind legs are working underneath him. And bless him, he is trying really hard. So I think here I did push him a little bit too far and you see he gives up with the canter and collapses a little bit. But it was fine, it was time for him to have a little break. So quick reward for trying so hard. Another little centre line attempt, which I lost him through the shoulder. But I suppose you can't have everything. And salute. So I moved the camera into the centre of the arena just to give you a different angle. And I'm not going to talk for all of this. Um, I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy but there's a little bit of medium trot you're also going to see lots more transitions and practicing of the square halts and it just changes in paces like you saw then so bringing him back pushing him on trying to lift him off the forehand which is where he spends a lot of time but yes I'm gonna be quiet now and let you enjoy the rest of the ride
and that was the end of the ride so we pulled up had a little cuddle and then i just practiced a little bit of stretching with him just trying to encourage him to flex his neck first went left and then we went right and then obviously finished the session with a good old chat with the lady i was riding with and off we get So we have just finished our practice run of the Prelim 17A. I dare say, I think I've remembered it. <laughs> so, oh God. If it goes that well on Saturday, we'll be very happy. Won't we, Harold? We'll be very happy. So I'm gonna unpack now. I'm popping back out in the field. And that's it for Harry's exercise today. He survived, goodbye. Ooh. Right, we're off to the field. Is everybody done for the day? Isn't it, Harry? Fed, watered, ridden for Harry, day off for Dragon, and now out to the field. If I come back again, I want to come back as a horse. I mean, you do an hour of work a day, you get praised for it like you've done something marvellous, and then you just get run around after. Poo where you like, eat when you want. Day's just chilling out. I mean, it's an absolutely glorious day. So I'll be heading home to get back in front of the laptop. Right into boys. And that's it guys, we are done. Two days of horsing complete. Both the boys are back out in the field and it's time for me to go home and get on with some work. And then I need to go and learn that dreaded novice test. <laughs> but if you are interested in seeing how we get on with dressage on Saturday, then check out our next vlog, which will be on Tuesday. And keep your fingers crossed. All I want to do is just remember them tests and then I'll be happy. That is the aim of the game. But anyway, if you did enjoy this, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys!